All right, Shalom, I'm Mike M. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praise, honey, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rachah, Kodash. I'd like to give double honors to the Prophet Van Elder's great millstone. <coughs> I'd like to say Shalom to the elect. This teaching is worth now true faith and sincerity. And today, I just want to get into a lesson. I'm pretty much how all things are now ready concerning prophecy now. Everything is really here for that saying end time prophecy to make sense. As you can see, the things that's taking place upon the planet Earth, the pestilence, you know, the evils, uh, by the way, of sedition of men, you know, the collapsing of different financial structures, this digital system. Is being implemented. Yeah, even this war. That's the icing on the cake. But all this is the intents and purposes of Yahweh by Shemel Shah, the powers of heaven and earth. But everything is here. This is an article from Newsweek, and it reads, Russia places nuclear-capable nuclear strategy. If I can read this again. Russia places nuclear-capable strategic missile launchers on combat duty. See? So, meaning what? It's ready. Everything is is lined up. But that's what all the prophecy is. And really that's pretty much that the, the title itself says it all. It's on comeback duty. Everything is ready. Matter of fact, it's going back. Let's get on here quick. So Rock 30. I believe it's 39, so Rock 39. And 28, it says, There be spirits that are created for vengeance, which in their fury lay on sore strokes. In the time of destruction, they pour out their force and appease the wrath of him that made them. See? And that, and those missiles is a part of it. That ultimately is going to show, display the vengeance of the Lord. But it said in the time of the destruction, meaning ultimately it's a time, ultimately really with all these spirits, with certain judgment go forth, but ultimately the judgment, the destruction of America, is a certain time where the Lord has already prepared for this place to be overthrown. I'm going to jump down to verse 31 and get to the point. It says, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be ready upon earth. See? See, little milks, they come back ready. Everything is ready. Them beasts. The scriptures talk about the teeth of wild beasts. He's already, he already in the cut. You know, everything is here. It says, it says, they shall rejoice in his commandment and they shall be, and they shall be ready upon earth when need is. And when their time is come, they shall not transgress his word. See, and that's really concerning all the plagues. That's concerning everything. Just going back to the article, as you can see, war, world war, world war, 
that's some. You can't just put that on the back burner. You got to acknowledge that. Because that's, that's, that's reality. And the source of that is the words of Yahweh by Shemel Shai. The intents and purposes of the Lord written within the scriptures, man. Let's read something real quick from Matthew 24. Say Matthew 24, verse 32, it reads, Now learn a parable of a fig tree when its branch is yet tender and put a fourth leaf. Ye know that summer is not, see? So as uh, a fig tree that put a fourth leaf, meaning what? It grows into its perfection. You know, it get, it gets more clear and obvious of what kind of tree is it. The fruit begins to show itself and it begins to change colors to show that it's ripe. You know, it says, so likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, see? And what was the old plethora of things? I love Lord spoke of war, evil, pestilence, famine, wars and rumors of war. And these things are happening at a high rate. But that's reality. This is prophecy. This is what the intents and purposes of the Lord. But everything is all is now ready. Going back to the, the Lord gave, giving us the uh, a tangible thing to look at, such as a fig tree, and how when you begin to see everything begin to bud forth, you know what time is. Summer is now. So the same thing we see the same thing the Lord told us, the signs in the heavens. Depending on what uh, region you're in, there's supposed to be a, you, you just, it's supposed to be two moons. And that's just not, that's not a decoration for the heaven. You know, that's a, that's a, um, an indicator of the times and the season. You know? So it says, so likewise ye, when ye shall see all these things, know that it is near, even at the door, the return of Yahweh Shai. That's the climax. His return. But this, these are the indicators of these certain signs to show you what we had in this process. Everything is getting more and more intense. You know? Everything is, is getting more intense. So you is getting we're getting closer. Talks about matter of fact, um how the plagues are not slack in the book of Second Ezra the sixteenth chapter. The Lord ain't falling back. Everything is here now. Oh, matter of fact, what's that? I think that's in First Peter, probably about the end of all things. Yep, First Peter, uh, four and seven. It says, "But the end of all things is at hand." See, everything is about to be summed up with the destruction of America. And everything and all the pieces are there for that for that to be a for that to be accomplished. Cause that destruction is a process. It's being destructed, then ultimately 
the destruction. World War Three. You got the famine. The the pestilences. Uh, you got the these people. You know with that brute beast mindset. It's going to contribute to the evils as well. Esau. And that, and it's just that, and it still comes with many subcategories. Which is the sword. But these prophecies, everything is about to be summed up, man. And the people got to acknowledge it. It says, but the end of all things is at hand. Be ye therefore sober and watch unto prayer. See? And that's ultimately stand in this, man. You know, abiding in his truth. You know, continuing. That's to be sober. Not to be drinking of anything else but of this. You know, because ultimately you, you, you know, you, you're sober, you, you, you're clear, your vision is clear. You under the influence, now you, you're, uh, it, it's altered now. But this, you know, drinking of this, everything is clear and, and obvious, seeing things through the testimony of Yahweh Shai. And it shows that we are at the end. You know, as, era, as things unfold on the planet Earth, we are at the end. Let's get down to St. Luke 21. St. Luke 21, which I just read it in St. Matthew. St. Matthew, I mean, it's like St. Luke 21, I started 25. And there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roar. See? And a nigga will say that I've always been the case. Everything, these things that's going on has always been a thing on the earth throughout history, but not at this high rate to where you got apps just for tracking earthquakes with so many earthquakes that happen so frequently it's what it's an app on it you know to tell you this how many earthquakes happen the heavens signs in the heavens war all these things at a high rate not every once in a while thing It says, men's heart failing them for fear and for looking after those things which are coming on the earth, for the powers of heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see, see, the Son of Man coming in the cloud with power and great glory. See, that's the climax, the return of Yahweh Shai. It says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up and lift up your heads for your redemption draw of nigh. See? So as these things I fold, it really is in our favor, man. Hearing about these evils, a recall, that strike, the port strike, you know, war, hearing about war. These things are in our favor. Why? Because other than that means our redemption draw off now. And guess what? These things are here. We 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 actually see these things. When you begin, you know, when these things begin to come to pass, when you when you actually see these things unfold, lift up your head. So this really put us uh you know, this boosts our faith. This comforts us as we see the prophecies happen. 
So yeah, I can imagine this whole this will edify. I'd like to give all praise on and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahushai, Bahashavakash Hadash, double honors to the Prophet and Yoda, the Green Millstone, Shalom to the elect, the Ephesian word, and our true faith and sincerity. Shalom.